AK Geeks. Hey everybody, welcome to AKA Geeks. This is Movie of the Week. I'm your host, Sean. This is another Lone Wolf edition for you guys. This week's Movie of the Week was Free Fire. This movie, I've been looking forward to this movie for a long time. I finally uh, realized it was in Redbox. Yes! Uh, so I picked it up and I was going to this film hoping it'd be good because I had been Looking forward to it for a long time. This one stars Charlotte Copley, Brie Larson, Jack Rayner, Army Hammer, uh, the list goes on and on. A very, very good cast. I really like the cast. This movie is pretty straightforward in what it is. The movie sets you up with where it's going to take place. The setting of the film it is a gun deal that's about to go down. And one thing, right as this gun deal is about to finally happen, starts off a mess of everything uh, and just it's it is chaos but a controlled chaos and for me it was a fun chaos throughout the film there were certain moments where i was like wait a second all right who's on whose side again oh yeah that person is friends with him so he's on that side oh that person's friends with him but he's on that side oh wait but he just shot him by accident or was it on purpose oh she's now getting shot at what it's like a really good controlled chaos ben wheatley did a really good job with this the actors in the film did a great job with all their roles charlotte copley um an amazing actor. I love what he does in these movies. He's so um, versatile. He can do the crazy maniac psycho killer in Elysium and he can do this off the wall uh, egocentric type of guy in this film. It's so crazy how skilled he is. I love what he does. Army Hammer plays the suave and sophisticated dude who has talent and talent to spare and, and skill that, that just puts him above everybody else. And, and Cillian Murphy in this film as well. Um, pretty like a gritty character in a sense that he knows what he's doing. He's trying to get stuff done and I liked it. Brie Larson as well uh, did a great job with her character. Overall this film has a lot of twists, a lot of turns and it's very enjoyable, at least it was for me. I, I really, really enjoyed uh, some of the stuff that the characters got into. I like the dialogue between the characters. They were always quippy. They were always filled with good little lines that maybe stung a little bit to one character or stung another character. And I just really enjoyed it. And when the, finally the story was actually coming through and when you could see what the story was, it was like, cool, awesome. I, I really enjoy the twist that they're adding. And, and I just, it was really enjoyable for me. This is not a film that's the best film in the world. But it totally met my expectations uh, with what I had seen the cast and seen the action from the trailers. So I definitely recommend this film for people. It is rated R, there's lots of blood and there's lots of cursing. Um, but it's definitely worth it if you're uh, looking for something fun and enjoyable on a Friday night. Alright guys, so that's it for this week's episode of Movie of the Week. Remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, suggestions in the comments section. Let's have a great conversation about the movie Free Fire and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. AK Geeks.